What's all this? Looks like an invasion, Dad. You're welcome, of course, General, but uh, what's the occasion? My apologies, Bond. Where's the animal? You mean Kong? That's right. Where is he? Take some men and probe into the jungle beyond that cliff. You need some help, General? I'll get him for you. But just a moment, Bobby. What do you want with Kong, General? Shall we stop with the games, Bond? You know as well as I that that ape ripped half of New Guinea apart two days ago. Impossible. Kong has been right here all along. And he's here now. That means nothing. He could swim that distance in half that time. Even so, Kong would never do anything like that, sir. Enough talk. Get that scouting party moving. Disperse the heavy artillery. You're making a mistake. Kong would never... <laughs> Understand. Bobby, get Kong back into the jungle. You stay right where you are. Okay, Bond, okay. Tell him to put it down. Easy. Then we'll talk. Calm him down, Bobby, while I try to get to the bottom of this. But there were eyewitnesses, Bond. Eyewitnesses have been wrong before. General, emergency from New Guinea. The monster's on the prowl again. He's already knocked out the power plant and he's heading for the harbor. Even Kong doesn't move that fast, General. This is highly irregular, Bond. You realize that? I do, General. But if Kong is being blamed for all this destruction, he should have a chance to redeem himself. Besides, you may very well need him. wonder why we blamed your pet. I see what you mean, General. But what are you going to do about it? We'll open fire. You can't just blast away when people are around. What else can I do, Bond? Let my son take over. You're kidding. Try it, General. Okay, turn him loose, Bond. Bobby! Go get him, Kong! Get him! Stand by. Prepare the nuclear weapons. Don't do it! Give Kong a chance! Bond, your monkeys and also ran, but keep them in there. Keep the monster busy and we can blast. And we've got him now. A charge! <laughs> I can't wait any longer, Bond. I've got to throw in the big weapons. But, General, you must... You're not going to fire on Kong! <laughs> Hold your fire! You'll hit Bobby! I'll give you ten seconds to get him out of there. Get up, Kong! Don't let him beat you! Be careful, Kong! Careful! <laughs> He blew 
fuse, the one that caused the short circuit. I must correct that. Bond, I owe you an apology. Your pet certainly finished that one. Not finished, General. I'm afraid we'll see that robot and whoever is behind it again. Look. And before you run into that guy again, you're going to have to have a few boxing lessons. You know what I mean, like a left, left, right, left, and then a cross with the right. Mm. It's a catastrophe, Professor Bond. Disastrous. Anchorage is sinking. The sea around us is rising at the rate of five feet a day. Soon we'll be completely underwater. But here, take a better look. There isn't much left. Yes, unless the cause of this flood is discovered and stopped, the city is doomed. You've been very helpful, Mr. Mayor. Can you help us? I have a theory, Mr. Mayor. Only a hunch. Well... We must put all our faith in it, whatever it is. We'll do our best. He does the work of a hundred. Handy fellow to have around. Are we far from the North Pole, Commander Kraft? About uh, 65 miles. We were lucky to get this far. Not much ice here for so close to the pole. Strange may be right about the cause of the floods. Oh? He, he thinks a giant meteor may have fallen on the polar cap. Its radioactive heat could melt enough ice to flood the northern hemisphere. Look, here, here they come. Hiya, Kong! Well, Commander, is everything ready for our trip to the pole? Your equipment is aboard the sled, sir. We'll leave Kong here for the time being, Bobby. There's a possibility of radioactivity ahead. You wait here, buddy. I'll be back for you. How far have we come? Almost there. I'm getting some radioactivity. Look. By my calculations, we're standing on it right now. Not quite, Commander, but you're getting warm. Who said that? Professor Bond, fancy meeting you here. It's Doctor Who. <laughs> It is ironic, Professor Bond, that we should meet again so soon. I should have known that you were behind this. You do me much honor, Professor. 
but grant me a simple request and I will spare the world its present misfortunes. You're suggesting blackmail, of course. Of course. My ingenious meltifier you see before you will drown the entire Western Hemisphere in a rising flood of melting ice at my whim. I have no authority to negotiate with you. You underestimate your professional reputation, Professor. I'm sure a carefully worded report from you would convince the authorities of the Western world of the hopelessness of their position. You'll get no cooperation from me. But you forget. You and your family are my prisoners. Not for long. You are referring to your big friend, uh, Kong. But he doesn't seem to be here. Surely if he were, I might have noticed him. <laughs> This is the heart of my meltifier, an atomic reactor. Through my genius, it superheats the ice below, which causes the length of the entire polar cap, melting more and more ice to water. For the last time, Professor Bond, will you yield to me? Never. Bring the boy to me. Well, my curious little friend, would you like an inside look at a real atomic reactor? You don't scare me! You miserable brat! I'll do this myself! the end of a mad ambition. It's getting cold. Yes, things are back to normal again. Thanks to Kong. Yes, thanks to Kong. What is it, Kong? What's the matter? Oh, no wonder he's excited. Take a look at this. Now pay attention, Kong. Dad says the world you've been living in is millions of years old. So it's time you were brought up to date. Now here is the first thing you have to know. Come on, fish. You expect me to sit here all day. That's more like it. <laughs> no, Kong. I want to do it myself. a picture that looks like the fish I caught. Okay, okay, we caught. See, the name is right there. Ixi Rock. I'll show it to Dad. It must be very important if it's in this book. Dad? Dad? 
Susan, have you seen De... Oh, no! What's the matter? You're cleaning it! Well, that fish is ichthy... An ichthyoch. A very important scientific discovery of mine. <laughs> Ours. Well, how was I supposed to know? Bobby, th there's something inside him. Look, it's a statue. I think it's gold. Solid gold, Bobby. It's a statue of the ancient Etruscan goddess, Uni. Uni? Over 2,000 years ago, her temple was swallowed up by the sea. The legendary temple of Uni. Ancient stories say it was made of gold, too. Bobby, could you show me where you caught that fish? Right about here, Dad. It's just a long shot, but the temple of Uni might not be far from here. in trouble. The Temple of Uni. I was this close to it. But it's right in the center of an underwater whirlpool. Couldn't you tie a cable to it, maybe, and pull it up? The suction of that whirlpool makes it impossible for anyone to go near it without being hopelessly trapped. Where there's a will, there's a way, they say, but I'm afraid all we have is the will. <laughs> good it does me, that tempo might just as well be on the moon as a half mile offshore. Better than that, Dad. It's on the beach. What? What do you mean? Look! On the beach! <laughs> Kong must have figured out a way to bring it up. Then Kong can take his place with the greatest engineers of all time. Are you letting Kong keep that crown? You want to try to take it away from him? Phantasium. Very rare metal. Rare and important. Look here. This one, plain, ordinary steel, 
This one has been treated with Fantasium. Mm. You'll have to thank him. He thinks you wanted it that way. Oh, thanks. You see what can be done with Fantasium? We can mold and bend steel of any thickness into any shape at all. I'll report the find to my company and then... You'll make them understand that Mondo Island has other natural values as well. I'll tell them, but it also seems to be the only island in the world with any sizable deposits of Fantasium. In that case, warn them that I'll do everything in my power to keep them from ruining this place. The Science Foundation must have some influence. We'll do what we can, but amalgamated mining is a big outfit. Since Mondo Island belongs to no one, they have as much right there as we do. Well, I'm going to fight this thing. I wish you luck. Over and out. Will they help? When they get the red tape untangled, and by that time it'll be too late. Then what do we do? I don't know, Bobby. I don't know. No, Kong, I don't feel like playing anything right now. <clears throat> Boo yourself. Hey! You're trespassing. Oh, yeah. Let them stay, Dad. It'll be great to have company. We won't be alone with the uh, horror of Mondo Island anymore. I didn't sign on to fight no horrors, Jeff. Don't worry about it. Oh, there's nothing to worry about during the day. What kind of talk is that? You guys clear the beach. I'll handle this. All right, kid. What's the story about the horror? I didn't mean to scare your men. Never mind that. What's the story? We don't know, but it comes at night, and it's as big as a house. It tears things up. All the animals run from it. Right, Dad? Uh, <clears throat> that's about it. You better warn your men. I don't believe you. You will. There they go. And there's not much we can do. We can try. The horror of Mondo Island. What are you going to do, yell Boo? Maybe. How much flour do we have, Sue? I don't know. I need, um, like a couple of pounds of it. What for? It'll help me when I yell Boo. Take what you want. I don't want you taking any unnecessary risks. Don't worry, Dad. Want me to come along? It'll look funny if we all leave. Only thing, when the horror of Mondo Island comes, act scared. Please? <laughs> That's a promise. Lie down, Kong. Mm -hmm. Funny sounds in this place. I don't like it. For what they're paying you, oh. you don't like it. Not for any money. You ready? Mm -hmm. Now, don't hurt anybody. Okay? One more big yell. I didn't do a thing, Mr. Kelly. That's right. Listen, kid. You warned me. Now I'm warning you. I have a monster of my own. Think about that for a while. I'll have Kong make another visit tonight. And that'll be the end of that. Just be careful. I don't want anybody hurt. Everything rigged? Yeah, and all connected up right here. Just do what I tell you to do, and when I start to work, clear the men out of the area. Got that? Yeah. Okay, you wait here. When I yell, throw the switch. You're getting to like this, aren't you? Give them a big one, Kong. Is monster. He's fighting the machine. He thinks it's another animal. That fool killer will be killed. We've got to call him off. Bobby! No, Tom, don't! There's a man inside. You'll hurt him. <laughs> Get him 
out before he gets hurt. Well, I wired the company and they agree the mining costs would be too expensive, even for Phantasium. I'm sorry to hear that. I told them there were natural obstacles beyond our control out here. They might be back, but I sort of doubt it. That's all right, Kong. You can't be friends with everybody. river carries all the goods of Africa up toward the Suez Canal. Now all of a sudden no boats here. What could have scared them away? That's what we're here to find out. Do you believe the wild stories of the monster sphinx? Anything is possible. See anything, Dad? Yes. There are a band of nomads. Nobody knows the desert like they do. Then they'd be the ones to ask about the disturbances. Good suggestion. Hey, boss, I don't like it here. Who asked you to like it? <laughs> it is time to send my pet kitten out for another little stroll. He's all set. His electric brain is programmed for three full days of destruction including all the appropriate countermeasures to whatever futile attempts the authorities may make to stop him. Come to life, my beauty. Let your eyes destroy all they survey. Now, rise, my pet. Rise and walk. Go as far as Suez and destroy the Great Canal. The Suez Canal. Now the world shall know the wrath of Doctor Who. Now they will pay the price. 
I shall remove their marvels one by one till there are no wonders left but my own. <laughs> We'd better leave Kong here, Bobby. No sense scaring off the natives needlessly. Wait here, buddy. I'll call you if I need you. Gee, this is exciting. It's too bad Susan and Captain Englehorn stayed behind today. Look what they missed. I'm sure Susan is enjoying the tour. Yeah, but what excitement can she find like this on the Suez Canal? This is Suez, gateway to Eastern Africa, the Indies, and all of Asia. Ah, that's the truth. Without the sea, world trade would evaporate. No! You can't be! Help! Help! Look! <laughs> Doctor Who. So you're the root of the mystery. I should have guessed. I feel flattered, Professor Bond. You can't lick the whole world, Doctor Who. No, my little friend. <laughs> Even now, the Suez Canal is being destroyed. Uh, that will do for a start. Sue so and Captain Englehorn. Kong. Yes, where is your gorilla? Kong! Let your ape do what he will. The canal is doomed. Kong can catch him, Dad. No time for that, Bobby. Kong's the only chance we have of saving your sister and the Suez Canal. Swim for shore. The crew has jumped the ship. Well, I've never left the ship. Take me to your wheelhouse. Hurry, Captain. Get him, Kong! He needs time to regenerate his eye gun. He's short circuiting, blowing his fuses. I'm glad it's over. So that's the end of Doctor Who's Sphinx. But it's not the end of Doctor Who. What on earth is Kong doing? He's pretending he's watching his favorite movie. Oh, that's the silliest thing I ever heard of. It's not so silly. He's got a pretty powerful imagination. See for yourself. Easy, Bobby. Easy. You're giving the wheel too much play. Just try to hold us steady. Aye, aye, Captain. Good boy. Well, I think that's enough for your first lesson. Gee, that was great. Thanks for letting me hold the wheel, Captain Englehorn. The wheel, Bobby. Grab the wheel.
Phew. That was a close one. Holly! Holly! Gee, if anything happens to your mascot, I'll never forgive myself. There he is. I'll save him, Captain. Bobby! Bobby, wait! Oh, I better get you back to your father while you're still in one piece. It was my fault that Holly fell overboard, Dad. Well, no harm done. You've got a brave boy there. Come on, Holly. We've got to get back to the ship. <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like you made a friend, Bobby. Well, I don't suppose a day shore leave would do him any harm. If it's all right with your father, that is. Is it okay, Dad? Well, now, he looks like he might have a pretty big appetite. Oh, boy, that's great. Come on, Holly. Come on, boy. <laughs> Go away, Kong. Go away. You're frightening him. Go away! That's all right, fella. Kong won't hurt you. Okay, Holly! Could he have gone? Holly! I hear him now. Look, he's with Kong. Kong, I thought I told you to leave Holly alone. Well, what's the matter with him? Honestly, boys are so dumb sometimes. Can't you see? Kong thinks you don't want him anymore. Now that you've got Holly. Whatever gave him an idea like that? Honestly, boys. Well, fella, did you enjoy your leave? <laughs> well, it looks as though someone else is coming to see Holly off. Well, well, a going away present, too. Hey, that's a strange looking bone. Don't think I ever saw one like that before. What kind is it? Looks like the neck bone of some prehistoric bird. Dodo, I think. Well, Bobby, perhaps Holly can come back for a visit again sometime. If it's all the same to you, Captain, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. 
I already got the best pet in the whole world. And besides, he's a little, uh, J-E-A-L-O-U-S. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what you mean, Bobby. <laughs> Come on, Kong. Just stay along the beach so if anything goes wrong, I know where to find you. Be careful all the time, and I'll expect you back tomorrow morning, early. Yes, sir. Come on, Kong. The captain says this is the place. Make sure he's away from where that Professor Bond has his camp. I don't want to be seen. They're almost halfway around the island from him. Will it work? It did in my laboratory. Why not here? I've hunted every animal in the world, and now with this, I can hunt down the biggest of them all, Kong. And when I kill that beast, the world will come to me, Von Kramer, and they'll beg for the gun. I'll sell it, all right, to the highest bidder. <laughs> Is the rubber boat ready yet? Already. Perhaps I should go with you. Von Kramer hunts alone, always, and Von Kramer kills, always. The beach is good for walking, but it's not much for adventure. Right, Kong? What's the matter? Something around? Not too easy, not yet a hunt. Young man! I didn't think he was this big. He's heard about you, Kong. And who hasn't heard of the great Kong, the king of all the beasts? My name is Von Kramer, Ulrich Von Kramer. He just wants to shake hands, Mr. Von Kramer. He's quite tame, isn't he? He can be pretty tough when he has to. I'm sure. I've heard he comes from a part of the island where many prehistoric animals still live. That's hard to believe. Oh, they're there, all right. I would like very much to see them and to see Kong in his natural surroundings. Uh, want a job as a guide? I'd like to, sir. But my father said we'd have to stick close to the beach. Ever see one of these? Of course not. I just invented it. Watch. Wow. What is it? A laser pistol. There is nothing more destructive. And because of this pistol, you will take me to where your big friend comes from. I want to see him in his own jungle so that I can hunt him down. And you will say nothing to him, right? Because if you do, I will shoot him immediately. Shall we go? Quite a challenge, young man, to track down such a beast as Kong in this sort of world. You'll never find him. Not here. But then you know very little about hunting. Shall we try? Kong won't leave me. He will if you send him away. I won't. Then I will shoot him where he stands. Remember, he might have a chance my way. Kong, get out of here. Go on. Go on, Kong. Fast, please. Quite a woodsman, your furry friend. <laughs> but not as good as Von Kramer. See? His track stops here. And after that, not a sign of him. I'll show you a little trick. How do you like being bait for King Kong? Your friend hears. Let us hope he gets here before that animal decides you're just what he needs for a little snack. Kong! Get away, Kong!
because he tried to kill you is no reason. Hmm? Or is it? Hmm? Let's help him anyway. Hmm? Get me out of here. I won't hurt Kong. I'm sinking. Please. Hold on tight. All right, Kong. Now pull it back. Slowly. A little more now. Now up. Watch it, Kong. He thinks it's a toy. Get it away from him before he kills somebody. Guns are nothing for you to play with. You're not that civilized yet. Maybe you are. That's about the best thing to do with a gun. Home, James. I mean, home, Kong. King Kong, you know the name of King Kong. You know the name of King Kong. Ten times as big as a man. Tigers near the North Pole? Dad had a report of two saber-toothed tigers frozen in the ice near here. Perfectly preserved. <laughs> this is Charles Sanderson Macluck, government geologist. Did you find out where the tigers are? Oh, quite a distance from here. Wouldn't it be funny if the tigers aren't really frozen dead? Historical. Here we are. Yeah, I've been expecting you three days running. Come on in. Soup's on. Don't know where I'm going to put the big one. Don't get guessed that large these days. He won't be any trouble, Mr. Packer. Mr. Maclack says you're the man that saw the tiger. You're sure it was a saber-toothed tiger? Well, it was nigh on 20 feet tall at the shoulders, all striped tusks onto it. Stuck in an ice wall it was, clear as glass. There was two of them. Make mighty nice bookends. Dig them out, aren't we, Dad? Melt them out is more like it, Bobby. I want to try to keep them as well preserved as I can. The cold ought to be a help. It ought to make history, Professor. Two saber tooths. Want to get the equipment, Macluck? I've never seen him like this before. There's nothing to be afraid of. They can't hurt us, Kong. How's it going? We're getting there. It won't be long now. Mind if I stick around and watch the fun? You people are tired watching. I'll keep an eye on things. Yeah, you go get some rest. I'll call if anything happens. We'd appreciate that. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Never thought out tigers before, but I reckon I can figure out how it goes. Get a good night's rest. They did. Uh, 
I must have fallen asleep. And I thought I was having a nightmare. It's against all scientific fact, Professor. Can you lend me a rifle? Back at the post. I got enough stuff to start a war. I'm afraid that's what we're going to have. Look, it, it's my fault. I'm the one who has to get them before they tear up every village in the area. At least take someone along who knows the North. He's right. This is no place to get lost in, because you'd never be found. I'll go along, Professor. Take him, Dad. And take Kong. I'll take Macluck, but Kong stays here. If I'm going to track those tigers, I want to be inconspicuous. I think you'd better warn every village and trading post. Tell them what's happened. Check. Come on, Macluck. Good hunting, Dad. I hope so, son. I hope so. You should have taken Kong. Yeah, there's already reports about a village being destroyed. I hope your father finds those too. I sort of hope he doesn't. He's out there, Kong. And if he finds them, he's gonna have trouble. Well, are you coming with me or not? I'm going in after him. I'll try to get them out. I'll take one from the cave, you take the other when it comes through here. All right, but maybe I ought to go. I'm familiar with ice and snow. It's my fault all this happened. This is my job, Macluck. Where's my father? Come on, Kong. Stay away from that cave, Bobby. Kong can handle those tigers. Something's happened in there. Don't make it worse. Wait until we know what it is. Dad. Bobby, can you hear me? Yes, Dad. Are you all right? Listen to me carefully. Don't come into the cave. Don't make any loud noises. The roof in here is about to go. Any vibration is going to set it off. Can you get out? Bobby, there's one thing I can do. I'm going to fire at one of those tigers. The cave will fall in on you. That's the way it's got to be. That's the only way to keep these beasts from causing more harm. Stand back from the cave, Bobby. Move back, Kong. Back. I hope the tigers come out first, but be careful. It might be my dad. <laughs> Preparing the warrior's feast very rare these days. It's for someone who's done something very brave. Come on, Kong. Oh, he's feeling shy. Come on, Kong. I have now seen everything. Hey, Kong. I just read this book on mind reading. Concentrate on something real hard, and I'll tell you what you're thinking about. <laughs> oh, that's an easy one. <laughs> what is it, Kong? What do you want? <laughs> Bobby, can you figure out what this animal wants? That's easy, Sue. He wants what everyone else wants. This. <laughs> won't take long. We'll visit that children's home and then we can take our vacation. Sorry, Kong. That's the price of fame. I'd better call Englehorn. I don't see any kids. Probably all inside waiting for their guest. Funny looking place for children. No playground or slides. Bobby, you and Kong wait by the truck. We don't want to take them by surprise. Welcome, Professor Bond. Welcome. I am delighted to have you as house guests. I regret it will not be for long, unless you do as I request. What do you want, Doctor Who? Kong. Kong will never follow you, and you know it. 
Exactly. But he will do as your son tells him to, won't he? You will please follow the hallway in front of you, Professor Bond. What about my son? He is safe, Professor. Safer than you. He's got Kong with him, Dad. Suddenly, I missed that monkey. <laughs> A magnificent job of construction. It will do the job. It had better. Master Bond. Doctor Who. We needn't mince words. I need Kong, that you know. He will not obey me, but he will obey you. If you do not do as I say, you will never see your family or Captain Engelhorn again. You don't give me much choice. You will tell Kong that he must do everything I ask of him. I didn't think it was that big. Where's my father? If you've done anything to him, I'll tell Kong to tear this place apart. There. Do you see them? Dad? Soundproof. The least you might expect from Dr. Who. <laughs> Kong! <laughs> I suggest you call off your beast. Watch. The room in there was designed especially for this meeting. It is controlled by my voice, and my voice alone. I have only to say the right words now. The first demonstration. Cold. Look, frost. The refrigerating coils can bring the temperature in the room down to 75 degrees below zero. Of course, we have the other extreme. Heat. That's better, it's getting warmer. Too warm. The heating coils can bring the temperature up to 250 degrees above zero. Kong, you'll have to do what Doctor Who says. Do you hear? <laughs> Satisfied? You will, of course, permit me one test before I buy. Kong! Go to the gatehouse and destroy it. Get moving, kid. You! I had to do it. I know. Don't worry about it, son. <laughs> we have much to do. Kong! He can't hear you. Show him, Bobby. Show him how to break the window. He thinks it's a game. How wonderful, Shreklik. A little risky, though, Doctor. Nonsense. The big ape is amused. Ah, now the final phase. And we come to the end of Bond and his family. A long time to wait, but worth it. can't get him to understand. This room is getting smaller. I think we are finished, Professor. Bobby, if you could only make your monkey disobey once in a while. But I can. Then do it fast. Captain Engelhorn, hit me. Me? Oh, that big monkey would kill me if I touched you. Hurry! I won't hurt you, Bobby. You tell Kong, hurry up! Kong, you will do as I say! Immediately, Kong! Stop him! Do something! Heat! Bobby! Kong! <laughs> Put him down! Friend, Kong! Friend! Kong, come on! Put him on the ground! He's a nice man! Very nice, Kong! I'm very nice! Sure he is, Kong! He's going to buy us that airplane model I liked. 
And bananas for you. Yes, yes. <coughs> Ooh, blackmail. <laughs> well, maybe I'll chip in too, Captain. What's the matter with you two? We're bored. Well, you won't be for long. We won't? Nope. Just one week from today, you'll have all the action you want. Watch. No need to worry. We'll just dig our way out. Well, let's get started. Okay, turn them loose. Especially in places like this. Professor, I'll be back for you on the 15th. I go, but I don't like it. Yes, sir. They got funny things on this island, so you stay close to your father. Funny things? Maybe Captain Englehorn is right. This place scares me. So if we have to stay here, then let's stay together. Just legends. Superstitions. Have you heard of some sort of giant animal called Kong? The natives stay away from this island because of the Kong story. Maybe we should, too. I can have you out of here before dark. We'll stay here. That's part of an anthropologist's work. If there's anything to the story, we'll find out about it. Right, Bobby? Sleep well, son. Good night, Dad. Dad? Hmm? What's a Kong? It's two things. First, it's a story. Second, it's a... Uh, it's nothing for you to worry about, okay? Okay. But wouldn't it be nice if it is something? Well, that depends on what it is, doesn't it? I guess. Good night. It's a sort of a moss. It looks like this. And it's an important source of food to these monkeys. I'd like to know what's in that moss. Like vitamins, you mean? Pretty much. I haven't seen any of it around. We'll make a last thorough search. And I don't want anybody out of earshot. When anyone whistles... Come running. Right. Now scoot.
you know the name of King Kong, you know the name of King Kong, ten times as big as a man. One day a boy too young to know the danger made a friend of this giant fearsome stranger. is the key to our new master strategy. With a ground station at exactly this spot, we can keep a fleet of nuclear missiles constantly threatening our enemies. Uh-oh. Trouble. Let's go, Kong. We don't want to fool around with a killer triceratops, Bobby. That's the most vicious animal in the world. He doesn't kill for food. He kills for pleasure. He sure looks the part. We should be ready to begin operations very soon. That is good. I have sent word to Professor Bond as you requested, inviting him to tea. Very good. His knowledge of the island will be useful. When he has told us all he knows, we can dispense with his services. Here he comes. Ah, Professor Bond, my greetings to a fellow scientist. It's a privilege to share an island with Dr. Lubov. Thank you. But I would have come without the guard. Purely for your protection, of course. We have heard so many stories of great beasts on this island. Are they true? Well, I have survived. There, you see, Professor Bond will be so helpful on our mission. Come inside, out of the sun. Just what is your mission here, Dr. Luboff? The same as yours, Professor, to investigate and learn. You're intrigued by the unique vegetation on the island? Exactly. But your government is not in the habit of sending their top nuclear scientist and a ballistic general out to the South Seas to pick daisies. What are you really here for? I am not at liberty to say, except to say you already know too much. You are in the way. Like every other obstacle on this island, you must be eliminated. I wouldn't do that. For you fools. The general. Give him about your work. There will be no work for us here unless we liquidate that big gorilla. That will be difficult. Bullets don't stop him. We must grab him. General, we have the prisoner. Excellent. Ah, the gorilla's little friend. You bet I am. And when Kong finds out I'm missing, he'll be back and wreck the whole place. And when he returns to rescue you, we shall be prepared. Take him away. General, the brood is coming. Good. We are ready for him. Boy, 
You see, we have planned a warm welcome for your gorilla friend. How do you say a hot reception? You see this ring of stakes around you? Each one will shortly come alive with a nuclear voltage of electricity. The opposite charges of their voltage will jump to anything that comes between the posts. King Kong will be cooked to hamburger when he enters our electrical fence. Shocking, isn't it? Kong won't come. I won't let him. But surely he will give his life to rescue you, little boy. The brute is coming. Clear the area. Turn on the generator. It's a trap, Dad. Don't let him touch it. It's charged with electricity. Don't come any closer. Calm. Keep calm, Bobby. We'll get you out of there. It's not working. Wait. It comes again. He's bringing all the current. Get Bobby now, Kong! Everybody to the vaults! Move faster! Move! Look! Damn, it's a long row back to the homeland. You sure took care of them, Kong. Well, that's not all he did, son. What do you mean, Dad? Kong is the first one in history to get a killer triceratops to do a good deed. For those of you who don't understand my friend too well, this is what he just said. And they all lived happily ever after. Did you like that story, Kong? Well, if you think that was exciting, wait till you hear this. Dr. Nordman has invited us to pay him a visit. He wants me to see his latest invention. What about Kong? Kong can come, too. Nordman lives on a remote mountain near San Francisco, Bobby. We'll sail on the professor's yacht, and Kong can swim along with us. When do we leave, Captain? As soon as you're ready, sir. <laughs> Dr. Nordman. Good, good to see you, Dr. Bond. You did bring the big ape, didn't you? Of course we did. Bobby, uh, call Kong. Good. Uh, Bond, I must show you something on the top of the mountain at once. I think it would be better if the boy and his uh, companion waited here. Ah, oh, gee. I'm sorry, Bobby, but I have a special reason. Very impressive. I'll sh show it to you. What is it, Dad? A solar mirror. A giant reflector of the sun's rays. Exactly, Dr. Bond. Norman built it for peaceful purposes, but I <laughs> persuaded him to change his mind. Dad, it's Doctor Who. Norman, what's going on here? I had to do it, Bond. He's keeping my family as hostages. What do you want with me this time, Who? I'm using you as bait, Dr. Bond. I'm going to make sure that a certain big ape doesn't interfere with my plans again. Look out there. San Francisco, target number one. 
to mean you're going to... Use the mirror to destroy the city. Then I'll move from city to city by night until the entire West Coast is at my mercy. Then I'll deal with the government in Washington. He can do it, Bond. That mirror will focus the rays of the sun into a deadly heat ray, effective for 50 miles. Let's give him a demonstration, Professor. First, Dr. Nordman invites us to come all the way here, and then he won't let us see his invention. Mm -hmm. Come on, Kong. Let's at least mm -hmm. get a little closer. Mm -hmm. That's four-inch steel, Dr. Bond. Imagine what it will do to buildings, to people. Speak. The boy and Kong are climbing the mountain. Excellent. We'll be ready for them. Hmm. I knew I could count on that boy's curiosity. Just a little higher, Kong. This is what I've been waiting for. Soon my worst enemy will go up in smoke. Dad, he's going to turn that thing on Kong. Here he comes. Get him, Nordman. Get him. I've got to refocus the mirror. Bobby, tell Kong to stay away. Go back! Go back, Kong! You come any closer, and I'll shoot them both! It's Doctor Who, Kong. He's got Dad and Susan. <laughs> Hurry, you clumsy fool! Hurry! I can't do it! Get out of the way! Kong, keep away! Bobby, don't let him! We've got to do something, Kong. We've got to. He's fascinated with his own reflection. Keep away, Kong! your mirror, Professor Nordman. Don't feel sorry, Bobby. I'll build another. Besides, it was the only way to stop Doctor Who. Kong really threw a monkey wrench into his plans, didn't you, Kong? A great big monkey wrench, Bobby. <laughs> what are you two doing? We're going away on a trip in search of adventure. How long will you be gone? Exactly one week. And just what kind of adventure do you expect to find? Oh, I don't know. Probably something like this. Mm -hmm. We've only be gone for two or three days. I want to thank you for coming. No thanks, Professor. It'll be fun staying with Bobby and Kong. You go collect your animal specimens. Don't you worry about us. Right, Kong? I wonder what it feels like to be a specimen, to get caught and stuck in a cage. Kong's a specimen. I think he likes it. Kong's different. But the other animals are smaller and weaker and in cages. I kind of feel sorry for them. Look, Bobby, if you're worried about the little animals, let's play a game. 
a make-believe were animals. We'll hide in the jungle and let Kong hunt us. Good idea. Hey, Kong, hide and seek. He likes the idea too, Captain Engelhorn. Kong's a pretty good hunter. We will see. What's got into Kong? Something's wrong. Kong? What is the matter? Look, what kind of a thing is that? Looks like a spaceship. No such thing. You know what I think? I have a very good plan for when something happens that I know nothing about. What's that? Hi. That's what I always do. Come, Bobby. Come on, Kong. What are they looking for? Us. What for? Specimens, maybe. I'm afraid we might find out what it's like, Bobby. Come. What about Kong? If they want Kong, they'll have to catch him. With us, it's different. We're small enough to put into those cages. Bego! 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 Hello! 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 We are speaking with you by means of an instantaneous translator. Can you understand us? Signify, please. Unfriendly. Speak its language. They think Kong is human. We have come from far away, from beyond this little galaxy of yours. And we are very powerful. We have come to collect specimens to look over your world, and if it suits us, we will take it from you. <laughs> Take them for our collection. Earthman, put down your pets. No, Kong. Do what I say. <laughs> he is uncooperative. I see that you do not think we need what we say. I will count to three. One. Tell Kong to run. It's the only way. There's no place to run. They'll shoot him down. Two. Too late now. Three, you have been warned. In your language, this is called the Destroyer. Watch it carefully, then I will count to three again. And if you do not cooperate, the Destroyer will put an end to you. I will count now. One. Now it's time to run. That thing will follow us no matter where we run. Kong, can you reach it? That's a baseball. Want to play a game, Kong? No. I don't think the Earthman understands. He will soon enough. Three. Okay, Kong. Over the fence. 